Yep, top gamers, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to see how to optimize your PC in gaming and on modern use, and say correctly in video graphics for RTX 350 Ti on a laptop. High performance is very essential for gaming and I understand it, so we're going to optimize the gaming PC for you guys. First of all, we're going to end all the programs that we don't need. For example, we can leave Skype, we can leave Edge, we can leave Intel, we can close everything at the possible to optimize your PC. Second step, close all the programs that automatically boot, so you go to start your apps, you check and you can see there, there is all the enable app that boots on loading. So you can disable, disable, you disable all the things you don't need. After this, it should be way faster than before. And you don't, you just have to reboot it and you see that the performance is way better. Oh, also, don't forget, reboot your PC every time. You can see, I shut down my PC, but you can see it keeps running even when I shut down. So, I strongly recommend to restart your PC if you want good performance. Guys, make sure you have enough RAM because RAM is very essential for gaming. So if you don't have enough RAM, you're pre pretty sure you're going to crash or have serious lags. And also have virtual memory. Virtual memory is very essential for your gaming laptop. If you don't have virtual memory, pretty sure it will crash too. For example, in Trackmania 23, you need at least uh, I don't remember, but I think you need at least 8GB of virtual memory to run properly Trackmania. Even if you have 16GB, you, al you always need virtual memory. To do this, you need to go to System Settings, you go, you go to System, you scroll down About, and you click on Advanced System Settings. Then you go you click on Performance, there you can uncheck for the best performance, but literally I never seen the difference, so you can leave it. Um, here on processor scheduling, always put programs. Background services are like for Windows Update, uh, many services that you don't use uh, for the day. So now you got virtual memory. This is where you can get virtual memory. And you put the value. I, for my gaming laptop, I've put 72.5 gigabytes of RAM, virtual RAM, but for gamers, I strongly recommend at least, if you have uh, enough storage, 50 gigabytes. Because at any time, and it's not the first time I crashed on Fortnite because I don't have enough RAM. Last time, it was yesterday, I was I crashed on Fortnite because I had enough, not enough RAM. So for me, I will put 72, but you can put at least uh, 50 or 32 the double of your RAM, you, you put 32 gigabytes, but you put a value, if you don't have enough storage, I would recommend at least 24 gigabytes of virtual RAM. Then when you did this, you can close the settings, and you're pretty done for this. Also guys, you install every app that you don't use. For example, um, if you don't use an app, you can even install it, it will give more storage to a computer and will also give more performance because your gaming laptop, for example, when you'll be on Fortnite, some data, temperate data, will be on the storage of your PC. So if you remove it, you'll get more storage and more performance. So you can even install it apps that you don't use. And I promise you'll get really more performance with, uh, with more storage. Also guys, don't forget to defragment your system because if you don't defrag this, it will be more slower and more slower. So you tap defrag on your search bar and you can see defragment and optimize drive. So you click on it, then you click on optimize. By doing this, you'll get way more performance and your PC will be way faster. But be careful. Now SSDs, if you do this, it can reduce life. But yeah, you can get more performance. But I warn you, it will be the life will be reduced. If you want to make your computer way more faster in gaming, you can clean your shader cache or DirectX cache, I don't remember, so you type disk cleanup, you press enter, you open it, it will scan, and you can select what you don't need, and it's literally saying there you don't need uh, those apps. So you can click on everything there, it will make your computer way faster, and 
and this is essential so you can click on it and you just have to click ok and it will be removed and if you want to remove even more data from your system you click on clean up system files you wait because it might take a little time but it will be very fast or this may take a few minutes to complete but don't worry on modern gaming pc it's very fast um, so we just have to wait and you can see there there is a free gigabytes to clean you can clean this clean this you can remove very useless e data that we don't need you can remove this remove this you can almost remove everything that is very really useless there it's not risky because if you can remove it that means nothing's risky you can remove this uh, you can remove remove you can click on it and then when you're done you just have to press ok and it will say a little message if you want to reconfirm them you click on delete files and your storage you will free up storage but and you have way more performance on your gaming pc so you just have to wait and it should be very done and you should have way more performance Modern Gaming PC have an option that when you can set the performance of your PC, you have sign in performance turbo or you can set by yourself your performance. So if you put your manual, you can set the GPU performance. For example, here I can overclock my GPU, but I won't do it because I don't want my computer to crash. But you can set the performance. You can set silent performance turbo. If you put the maximum, I think you'll get the best performance for gaming bit. But be careful at your CPU temperatures because you can see in GPU performance and the cooling is only at the three states but you can't control this unless you use manual mode but you'll really get better performance I promise try it by yourself if you want also very good performance I strongly recommend to boot Windows with your digital GPU and not your integrated GPU for example Intel's integrated GPU or AMD so first of all open Amory Crate and you have GPU mode and it should be automatically on standard so I strongly recommend to build Ultimate because Ultimate will make boot windows with uh, the RTX Rift TTI for example if you go on performance you can see the GPU is not used only 0.3 but the RTX is used and I was kind of surprised to see the performance because it was really performant than before I'll show you on the on a picture but you can clearly see the performance are way better when you load windows with your digital GPU don't forget to check the CPU temperatures if you're reaching really a, a very high temperature for example 90 degrees for the CPU 87 degrees for the GPU and it sometimes happened to me to reach 87 degrees and 95 degrees for the CPU I would recommend to check your CPU fans and your GPU fans and if you're really overeating I think you should add Tomo paste because this is really essential for a gaming laptop if you have a if your computer is overheating you can see a drop of performance and that's why you're lagging now we're going to talk about the Nvidia settings so you click on uh, you do it you do a right click you click on control panel and you're going to copy every setting that, that I made I've made my own settings and this is the settings that always work with me um, so unfortunately like I said if you're running windows on your DGPUs or on your digital GPU you'll get all the settings but if you're playing if you're turning on windows but you don't use your digital GPU you'll get only free settings you'll get adjust image with settings preview manage 3d settings and I don't remember I think this no and this one so you get only three options and for developer if you enable uh, developer settings so you go to free settings and you're going to paste everything that I did so there's not too much you can pause the video and make sure to have the same settings like me I guarantee to you you'll get way more performance so and also don't forget the background application max frame rate the lower your gate, the less your computer will hit. So your computer won't overheat, but at least when you're not using your game in your own background, don't not put a big value so your computer cannot overheat. I totally forgot to talk to you about something that is really, really useful if you want the best performance 
go back to NVIDIA control panel, open display, uh, open desktop and you click on display GPU activity icon. It will, it will open this, it will show this. Click on this. And then you have all the process that use your RGX. So if you don't use one of them, do Windows plus R and then you type CMD, you open this and you have to type task kill F I M and you type the program you don't use. Be careful to not close NVIDIA services because I think they're essential for the use of your GPU. So if you don't use for example um let me see OneDrive for example you just have to type OneDrive.exe and it will be removed from the GPU and you can clearly see it just got removed and it will at least give more performance to your GPU for example if I try task kill FIM and we're going to close the phone experiences host yep host.exe Oh, I'm really bad at typing, I swear. Uh, task. Oh my gosh. I'm not never I'm never gonna make task kill. Oh I'm so dumb. And if I type yep. And it got removed from your computer. But if you reboot it, pretty sure it will restart. But if you did the steps on the task manager when you avoid on starter apps the boot of your apps it should be fine and you'll get really more performance try this out it's really useful okay so if you really want good fps um i, I launched a game so if you really want a good fps and not lag put it to your refresh rate so for example my monitor is 144 hertz and i decided to put 144 but you can clearly see i'm, I'm not getting <laughs> way much because i'm uh, I'm recording, oh, and that's kind of fine, I'm hitting 144, but in Unlimited, uh, I'm getting, I don't even know how much I'm hitting, but, yo, 144, 175, okay, so it's pretty good, but I recommend, uh, I would do, honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I would have way more FPS than this, because when I'm recording, I'm hitting basically 200 FPS, but, it's just because I'm recording and my, I didn't restart in my computer, I have less FPS because my CPU didn't have the time to rest a little bit. But honestly, this is kind of pretty good, I'm getting good FPS on replay, so we're going to see how much I'm getting when I'm gonna be playing, but it's kind of good, seriously. But fact is, when I'm not recording, I'm hitting 200 FPS. But um, pre something pretty useful, if you use NVIDIA GeForce Experience, this record option is very, very useful, because it doesn't cost you a lot, and you're still getting a lot of FPS. I should give you a demo. So, I'm recording on NVIDIA, and I'm gonna turn on OBS, but you clearly see the difference. So now I'm back to Fortnite, but this time I turned on DirectX 12. Uh, I've put NVIDIA DLSS to performance because if you put TSR, you you don't see that you see a very good quality, and that's true. I, I agree, but you can play with maximum graphics. Let me see. You're going to see that if I try to put on maximum graphics, if I put Epic TSR Epic. Oh, it was unexpected. Oh, it even made crash an application. 
and you can clearly see that we've with lumen, lumen and nanit I can't even handle FPS so you can see if I'm using Nvidia DLSS oh, so you're going to be different here's the question the lobby now if I'm turning off TSR and turning on DLSS you will see that I'm hitting way more FPS so let's do DLSS performance Oh, we just gained first 4 FPS and if I disable ray tracing and edit, so um, I don't have enable the other name, but if I disable it, we see the difference 120 FPS in standing. So if I'm playing a game, so then sludge a game, um, we're going to go do Battle Royale. Oh my gosh, man. We will see the difference and you will see the difference, and this is totally different. So I agree, I'm on TSR, uh, no, never mind, I'm on DLSS, you can see performance, ambient inclusion, shader with epic, view distance epic, everything is on epic, except for me, because this is really, really laggy. I mean, I think this is not optimized for RTX version of okay, but you can clearly see I'm hitting 80 FPS. Um, when I'm not recording, I can I guarantee you it's just because I'm rock and recording with OBS. I'm hitting 100 FPS, and because my computer's probably overheating, I'm not getting those FPS, but I'm getting a very good quality. So and it's pretty responsible. I mean, it's pretty fast. Let me see if this time it works. Okay, it's never gonna work. Here we see it's very stable. Um, something we that's true, we are hitting 20 FPS sometimes for that reason. So we'll pray fine for this. Um, but not gonna lie, since there's a new chapter, because in the um, season 4, uh, chapter 4, season 4. I wasn't laggy that much. It, it's an epic game that probably updated their graphics, so that's why I'm laggy. But honestly, I was streaming and playing, and I didn't have any issues, so that's epic games update, I guess. But honestly, oh, it just crashed. Okay, never mind. But honestly, that's pretty fine, and that's not that bad. I'm hitting, yeah, 70 FPS, 80 FPS. But it's pretty good. Seriously. Huh. Let me see if I can kill player. And I can't even because I'm too freaking bad. <laughs> He's trying as much as to run. I'll do anything. Oh my gosh, you almost killed me, damn. That was painful. Oh, but yeah, it's a good question. I'm not gonna lie, you're getting way more FPS if I'm recording it, seriously. But yeah, that's uh, very good. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Bang one. Come on, Joe, my lady. Sorry, he's a man. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, um, make sure to subscribe and I'll give you more tips to optimize your gaming PC and I hope you really enjoyed that. If you really need uh, assistance or something else, don't don't hesitate to send me anything on the comment section. So I will be here to assist you and help you on your computer. Thank you for watching everyone. See you later. Goodbye.